friends good afternoon all of you welcome to life is to live channel this is dr reddy shekhar reddy i am here to share with you five simple steps for good handwriting most of the people either it is children or elderly people all the people want good handwriting but many of them don't have good handwriting so i am here to share with you five simple steps for good handwriting handwriting related with writing of alphabets here to get wonderful and attractive handwriting it is very easy just by following five simple steps i share with you all those five steps carefully listen to them and practice them while you write something in english so that you can get good handwriting the first one is I mean actually in english let alphabet we have three types of letters while we are writing top stroke letters bottom stroke letters and middle stroke letters see top stroke letters top stroke letters some letters which have stroke towards the top for example t l h Isn't it like this? See, if you observe these letters, all are uh, I mean towards top. See, the second point is bottom stroke letters. See, some letters like, for example, G, J. Y. J. If we observe these letters, all are consisting bottom stroke, and remaining third point is related to middle stroke letters. See, for example, Y, C, N, Y, O. See like this. if we observe these letters those are in the middle stroke see we have to identify first these three points letters are of top stroke bottom stroke middle stroke and the fourth point is all about we have to cultivate the habit of writing chain script while writing english we have to cultivate the habit of writing chain script some people write italics though it looks nice but it is written with individual letters while writing italics people used to write individual letters it takes much time but here while writing we have to take time into consideration we have to write fast if you want to write fast we have to cultivate the habit of writing chain script it looks nice and at the same time it helps for fast handwriting and the fifth point is a slight right bend while writing letters in the chain script instead of straight letters a slight right bend is essential to make the writing very attractive these are the five points which we have to keep in mind while we write something so that we can get excellent handwriting i just to show you example how it works see for example i write a sentence like this see here in this uh, word we use the uh, See this is top stroke bottom stroke this is capital letter remaining letters are middle stroke see for example if we write a line over here 
See, it is almost. All these are middle. See, this is what a bottom. This is what a top. Listen, but as we I, I told you, this is not with a slight bend or a, it is not chain script. If we write the same word in the chain script, for example, like this. See, it, we can find the difference between these two. See, instead of this, it looks nice. Because it is in the chain script, it has with a, a slight right bend and it is according to the norms. See, for example, B is the capital letter up to the top line and A and N are in the middle stroke. Here A, O or E, all these are middle. See, this G, it is the bottom stroke, so up to the bottom line. This is L, up to the top line. See, top stroke letters has to be I mean, uh, dragged up to the top line and the bottom stroke up to the bottom line. This is what the method. When we follow this thing, we can identify one thing that is about copywriting. In our childhood days, we wrote copywriting. The copywriting has inbuilt methodology to make right letters like this. Generally, when we take copywriting books, either we have two line books or four line books. See, if it is two line, see, concentrating on the middle stroke and the top stroke has to be drawn mean, above the line and the bottom below the line like that. This is the principle which is underlying in the copyright. But here, without mentioning that, we are just showing these principles have to be followed. So, these are, see, in the same manner, I write one more word, for example, like this. When we write this chain script, it, it goes faster. And moreover, by writing like this, This is almost the formula in the cooperative. These are the middle two lines, top line, bottom line. See here, it comes to the bottom line. It is the capital letter. And this part should be in this, in between these two lines and the bottom stroke. D, see, like this. This should be within two lines and top stroke like that. This is in the middle. This is in the middle. This is in the middle. This is top stroke. Again in the middle. Top stroke. See how nice it looks. This is what the formula which we are following. These are the five points which we have to keep in mind while we are writing something. No need to go for copywriting once again. If it is children, okay, but elderly people cannot go for copywriting to improve writing skills. But whenever you write something, just to keep in mind these five principles. One thing is top stroke letters have to be may not drag to the top. Bottom stroke letters have to be dragged to the bottom. And middle stroke letters have to be in the middle only. But at the same time here, some people write in some erotic manner. See for example, it, it should be like this. Like this. See, actually, this is a jigjag manner. See, this is a, um, mean lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, lowercase. Mean, uh, see, like that, uppercase and uppercase. It should not be written like that. If we write like this, it should be awkward, not at all pleasing. See, it has to be. See, this is the capital letter. A, N, A, N, O. Or e like that. See, it, as it is the capital letter in the starting, it should be big one. See, these letters all should be in the same size. All these middle stroke letters should be in the same size. If it is top stroke, it has to go down. It, if it is middle, uh, sorry, bottom, has to get down. Remaining letters all should be in same. Now, it looks nice. But it doesn't look nice. 
because it is not in the proper manner even it is not accepted method to use like this even I, I observe some students while writing their names also using mixture of letters like this that is very erotic it should not be used so it should be written mm -hmm. like this these are the five simple steps easily anyone can follow without any guidance without any teacher everyone can follow these five simple steps and practice themselves see each and every day just 30 minutes time take pen and paper and keep in mind these five principles so you have to follow so letters of three strokes have to be followed strictly and always prefer chain script so that you can write it in speed as well as writing should be pleasing and a slight right bend two words right just a slight bend not much see by following these five simple steps anyone can improve writing just to follow this continuously for a period of one month you you can find yourself the difference everybody needs good handwriting so i try to make this simple video for the benefit of all the children and elders you just follow these steps practice them and feel the benefit and feel the improvement and share this video link to your friends and relatives so that they also can make it useful and if you have not yet subscribed just subscribe our channel life is to live we are going to upload so many videos which are very helpful in the area of english language and spoken english see many people believe that learning grammar is very difficult but here we are giving I mean, uh, simple steps, simple methods to learn English grammar very easily. We are going to upload a series of grammatical uh, um, videos with grammatical aspects. You just subscribe our channel, Life is to Live and follow our videos so that you can learn grammar, English grammar easily. Thank you and wish you all the best.